Percentage increase. Now, let's focus on percentage increase and start with a mind-blowing example. Example 1. An employee has excellent performance in his work, so the boss decided to triple his salary. By how what percent did the employee's salary increase? Solution 1. I am sure many people will respond immediately. The employee's salary increased by 300% since the boss tripled his previous salary. Although this may seem reasonable, it is a wrong answer because the term, triples, means three times the original value. Therefore, if we express the initial salary by S, the actual salary after the increase becomes 3S. Therefore, the increase in salary, which represents the difference between the current and the previous salary is obtained through subtraction, i.e. we have the following shown on screen. Therefore, since S represents 100% of the previous salary, we have a percentage increase by the following figure shown on screen. and not 300% as you may initially have thought. In this way, we may induce the formula of percentage increase that is shown in the following on screen. If the old and the new percentage, i.e. initial and actual, of an amount are known, the percentage increase is obtained through the formula shown in the following on screen. Or we obtain the following shown on screen. Example 2. The number of bacteria in a sample of contaminated water increased from 2,000 to 15,000 in one day. What is the percentage increase of the bacteria? Solution 2. We have the following clues shown on screen. Thus, we have the following shown on screen. As we stated earlier, we can also work out the percentage increase by taking the initial value as 100%, and finding the actual value in terms of the initial value as percentage, 100%. Then, the initial percentage is subtracted from the actual in order to obtain the percentage increase. Thus, in the previous example, we may express the actual number of bacteria in terms of 100%, the initial value, i.e. we have the following shown on screen. Thus, applying the ratio approach, we obtain the following shown on screen. Taking the cross product, we obtain the following shown on screen. Therefore, the percentage increase is shown in the following on screen. That is all for lesson 5.3.2. To continue this tutorial please watch, 5.3.3, Percentage Decrease. Thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. For more information, calculators, and tutorials, please visit www.icalculator.info.